Major League Fishing has changed the game again with a revolutionary General Tire Team Series. An exciting new format where 27 three-man teams compete for a top prize of $300,000. We can talk to our partners. You can tell what lures, techniques you're using. Okay, you're on the inside grass line. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. This is the craziest format ever. Like, there's so much information. It kicks off with a Lucas Oil Qualifier, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches, streaming exclusively on My Outdoor TV. Championship round is what we fish for. You got a one in 24 chance when you come down here. To get where it's a one in eight chance is hard. This format, you cannot waste a period at all, especially during a championship round. It's not gonna be an easy task because these guys are all fishing at the very, very top of their game. It's anybody's game. Let's do it. There's a pick. I didn't get a good hook in her. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a good one. Yo, button the yeah. That's the ones we gotta get. Gosh, you sucker. Major League Fishing. It's the Wiley X Summit Cup from Florida's Space Coast. Presented by BW Trailer Hitches. We're at Keenansville, aka Jurassic Park. It's championship day. Man, all these cameras here. You'd think there's a fishing tournament going on or something. We got eight hours to break down 2,500 acres. And it's about to be sure chaos, son. It's foggy, and there's some big bass around. Any hook set here could be a 10-pounder. Legitimate 10-pound fish. Looks like a typical Florida lake. Flat as a pancake, no definition. I'm only going to assume that there's grass. I'm telling you guys, these are the lakes that we as professionals seek out. All right, boys, here we go. Welcome to General Tires Major League Fishing. 24 anglers travel to Florida's Space Coast to compete for the title of Summit Cup champion. Eight have battled their way to today's final round. Only one will come out on top. Let's meet the final eight anglers. Qualifying out of sudden death round one, he finished first, David Dudley. With a second place finish, three-time cup winner, Jacob Wheeler. He finished third, Fred Boom Boom Rambanis. And our final qualifier out of Sudden Death Round 1, Matt Lee. The winner of Sudden Death Round 2, Brian Thrift. He finished second, Anthony Gagliardi. Qualifying with a third place finish, 2020 Challenge Cup champion, Jeff Sprague. And rounding out today's championship field, the W, Wesley Strader. The anglers are not told where they will be fishing, so it's crucial they pack for every situation. Jacob Wheeler shows us how he prepared for the unknown in today's general tire, Anywhere is Possible. All right, y'all, we are here at the Space Coast of Florida, the Summit Cup. Beautiful, sunny Florida. It is in a warm week, and one of my favorite baits to throw down this way is a Rapala X-Rap prop. This bait right here, you can tell if you can see this, it's caught me a few bass over the years down this way, really all over, but it's really, really good when you have those warm weeks and those fish are actually spawning, and that's what we have this week. When those fish actually are starting to pull up to spawn, or their post spawn, they just tend to really bite that bait really well. It's not one that I really use to search, but it's something that I, when I get a bite, I start to throw it around those little zones because it just draws those big ones in, they can't stand it. So that is my first bait of choice. Going to my second one, you always have to have something to flip with. Now, you could do a variation of different size weights and stuff, but I typically always throw a braided line down this way because you, you have so much vegetation, it's so hard to get those fish out of that stick cover. That's when I pick up a big rod with heavy lines, 50 pound braid, ounce and a half weight and a little black and blue bug. This thing right here, water clarity down this way, typically is a little bit dirtier, more tannic water, so black and blue is a confluence color down here, typically gets bit. And if you're around those big ones, they're typically gonna bite. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, you guys know anywhere is possible.
With no practice and no information, the anglers only have 30 minutes to run the lake and try to formulate a game plan. For more on the options they have available to them, let's get out to Marty Stone for today's Lake Breakdown. Chad, this morning we're completing a circle here in the Palm Bay area of Great Lakes to fish. We started out at Headwaters Lake for elimination round. And then for sudden death, we moved slightly west to Stick Marsh and Farm 13. And now on championship round, we're on Keenansville Lake. It's located only three miles from the Stick Marsh by way the crow flies. This lake is almost perfectly central between Palm Bay and the Kissimmee area. And oftentimes it's forgotten about because of the drive time. 2,500 surface acres makes up this lake and the cover is from end to end. Start with cattails, lily pads, floating vegetation, a lot of that being lettuce and hyacinths. There's also floating islands throughout. Canals, there's one on each end, north and south. And there's an underwater levee that runs through the middle of this particular lake. But the number one cover, just like Headwaters, is hydrilla. It's from end to end. But there's gonna be several keys that these anglers are gonna have to focus on if they wanna win. The first and foremost, handle the pressure of the score tracker. And the reason that's even a bigger deal today is most of the time when they get that score tracker update, because of the size of this lake, they're gonna see what their fellow competitors are doing. And make no mistake about it, today the big fish will show up. And the angler that can fish clean and take advantage of those big bites will be the angler, in my opinion, that will be the champion of this 2022 Summit Cup. Well, here we go, Jurassic Park. Enjoy the ride. Let's get it, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this whole channel deal. This sucker looks good. Gosh, they're gonna catch them. We're gonna train right them sucker somehow. This place is gonna be interesting, and I'll tell you why, because it's so choked out with grass that it, when a guy finds, you know, the right stuff, it'll be, it'll be good. All the hydrilla that I was hoping to see in the last round is over here in this lake. This lake is absolutely slam full of hydrilla. It's literally two miles as the crow flies from where we fished the first day and the second day. So a lot of the same stuff is gonna play a factor. It's top water, that fluke bait, that's gonna be the deal for me. I would kinda like to find a place that just has some scattered stuff where it's not so carpeted, but it's hard to see. It's hard to see that right now, so we're just gonna keep riding around. We're gonna run a little bit more. I like having a little channel versus out there, and I got some open stuff holes, matted stuff, pockets. We'll just slide over here and start where I like. Nope, don't like it. Let's keep looking. <laughs> it's been hot and uh, the fish aren't really just chewing, so there's a lot of activity around right here though, I like it. There's a nice little levee right here and so sometimes the fish will spawn up on top of this stuff. It just depends on the water depth and the water level. So I'm just sort of pulling up right here. It's a good defined edge or some hyacinth mats. I feel like it's a high percentage place to start at anyway. You'll find expert bass fishing know-how from Mercury MLF Pro Team Anglers at MajorLakeFishing.com backslash Mercury Pro Tactics. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Wiley X Eyewear. Go confidently. B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure, Lucas Oil, Keep That Engine Alive, General Tire, Delivers, and by Kubota. Together, we do more. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the final round of the Wiley X Summit Cup. Presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. Probably gonna start with a top water. Something I can cover some water with. All I know is that this lake has got a ton of hydrilla in it. It's matted everywhere. It's beautiful. 
Somebody will catch one over eight pounds a day. It'd be awesome to go out in the season, last a minute of the year with the wind. Get ready for your lines in. We're fixing to start this thing. Eight professional anglers have survived the sudden death rounds and are ready for the final battle to claim the Summit Cup trophy on Keenansville Lake. Today's championship round will consist of three periods. A scorable bass must weigh at least one pound. The angler with the most weight at the end of the day will be crowned the 2022 Summit Cup champion. The final round begins now. Three, two, one. Lines in, beginning of opening period championship round. Championship round, baby. I don't worry about the first cast bad luck. Let's go ahead and snag a big one right here off the giddy. All right, let's see what old Jurassic Park we got. I don't know if they're spawning. That's going to be the big thing, is just determining what, where they're at and what they're doing. I know there's bass right here. I mean, there's so much bait around. Might be a little bit farther up, man. There's a ditch that runs all the way around the whole lake. And I'm just trying to stay in this ditch and fish the edges like I did at the headwaters. I mean, it's stable conditions. That's what you want in Florida. I really would like some wind. Remember, as I was saying, I could, if I could get wind, I'd, I'd catch a fish. I don't know yet. I'm unsure exactly how I'm going to play this one. They come off. Not yet, not yet. Two pounds, zero ounces. Nice. Let me start it. Score tracker update. Wesley Strader got one fish, two pounds, zero ounces. Only anchor on the score tracker. There are some fish in here. I ain't seeing nothing moving on the surface. That ain't what you want in Florida. One pound, four ounces. Thank you, Dan. Wesley Strader's caught his second fish. He's in first place with three pounds and four ounces. Yeah, I know I need to chill, but I'm like, oh, man. You know, I seen some blow up in the mats, but I couldn't get them to bite the frog, so I thought, well, we'll start going underneath the mats and see if we can get something going. One pound, 11 ounces. Yes, sir. We are on the board. Brian Thrift has caught his first fish, weighed one pound, 11 ounces, moved him into second place. So I think the best thing to do would probably be throwing a vibrating jig and just fire it around, and you'll catch the fire out of them. Anthony Gagliardi just joined the score tracker. He's now in third with one pound, four ounces. I need to be flipping. Yep, there's a bed right there. All right, I'm in the right area. He's a little bit better. He's not much bigger. I'll take him. One pound, 14 ounces. Golly. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Well, that's not the way I anticipated to get the first bite, but we got him in the boat. <laughs> one pound, 10 ounces. Yes, sir. All right, first one. It's about the third bite that I've had on this Berkeley Speed Boss. I know that the first couple that I swung and missed on. I, they were really small, I believe, but that's a good sign that we're getting a few bites, though. That's our first bass, Poppy. One pound to eight ounces. That's our first bass, one pound eight ounces. Jeff Sprague is now on score tracker with one fish for one pound eight ounces. I'm gonna catch a big in here in a minute. Need a couple more pulls out. And I catch them. That's a better one. Come on. 
Three pounds, three ounces. Nice. Beautiful fish like that. Let's see if we can get us another one, boy. Wesley Strader now has seven pounds, seven ounces. Oh, boy. Slow down, Wesley. Two pounds, zero ounce. Uh, two pounder. If I can find them with this top water, I can catch them quick. If I can find them, finding them is going to be the hard part. I feel way better now. <laughs> Starting to get a little bite. Did you see that? I dropped that to that fish. He was swimming around. I dropped a thunder cricket to a bass. Jeff Sprague's caught his third fish. He now has three pounds, 14 ounces in second place. It ain't supposed to be that hard. Come on. Oh my God, did you see it? There you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, stay on there. Stay on there. Yeah, there we go. Five pounds, zero ounces. <laughs> it's close, I was at four or five. Nice one. Wesley Strader continues to lead with 12 pounds, seven ounces, he just landed a five pound, zero ounce bass. They're biting somewhere. I just need to quit sucking is what you're saying. That just came out from under some high driller. I watched him get it. I saw the mat kick up. Whew, thank you, Lord. Let's catch about 20 of those. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Beautiful fish like that. Yeah, there we go. Wesley Strader just caught his fifth fish. Five pounds, Ooh, zero wee. ounces. That's big time. Nice one. Slow down, Wesley. Wesley Strader is off to a great start on Keenansville Lake. The W sits at the top of the score tracker with 12-7, aided by a five-pound brick, the current Berkeley Big Bass of the day. Eight of the top professional bass fishermen in the world make up today's field, but only one will walk away as the Summit Cup champion. Marty Stone breaks down the anglers to keep an eye on for today's Wiley X eyewear, more than meets the eye. When you come into championship round, you're always looking for those anglers that's got forward momentum and that can take that momentum all the way to end to end. The first angler that comes to mind in this one is David Dudley. He won his elimination round and sudden death round, and he's done it on the strength of a spinning rod. That's non-traditional for down here in Florida. Dudley, no matter what lake we've put him on, has been able to generate a lot of bites. The second angler is Anthony Gagliardi. Anthony won his elimination round and was only moments away from winning sudden death. He's fishing strong down here on these Florida lakes as well. The third angler is Jeff Sprague. He's the only angler in today's championship round that's qualified for all four cups this year. He's been consistent and strong, and the only thing Sprague hasn't done this year is win a cup. And speaking of winning a cup, there's three anglers in cup history that are tied at three wins apiece. Kevin Van Dam, Edwin Evers, and Jacob Wheeler. Wheeler has come into this championship round probably under the radar than most events, but Wheeler's never completely under the radar. Can he become the only angler in Major League Fishing history to become a four-time cup winner? When Wheeler makes a championship round, which he does often, he is one of the best closers in the business. Ooh. Had one right there. You can't get too, too much in a hurry. You gotta flip it all. But then you could be in an area that does none of them and not get a bite. So that is sort of how it is. He's a little bit better. All right, come on. Dang it. It's gonna happen. Can't help it. You can't help it from doing that. Two pounds, eight ounces. Those will work. We'll take two and a half all day. Give you a score tracker update. 
Anthony Gagliardi's in second. He has three fish for five pounds, 10 ounces. There we go, boys. Dive one up right there. Three pounds, six ounces. Okay. Quality versus quantity. That's the game plan for today. Jacob Wheeler just caught a three pound, six ounce. He's in third place, 10 ounces behind you. Imagine that. I've got two bites starting to get a little bit of a, at least get in the zone a little bit here. That's exactly what you need to have happen. It's gonna be one of those lakes where someone's gonna catch a giant and just get a rhythm going. I'm still in search mode. I'm not sure what I like yet. Top water does not seem to be where it's at. Let's dive them. Dive them up, boys. One pound, 13 ounces. Jacob Wheeler's caught his third fish. Six pounds, 13 ounces now, second place. Mm-hmm. Matt's missing the boat first thing. I'm gonna figure something out in a minute, boys. You, I'm just, just looking. There's no surface activity. They don't seem to want to chase. So we're gonna have to go in their house with them. Well, that's a good one. Dang, gum it. Three pounds, nine ounces. There we go. Heck yeah. Oh, gosh, boys. Come on. Jacob Wheeler's caught his fourth fish at a 3.9. Come on, 10 pounder. Eight pounder. Seven pounder. One pounder. Big weight, big line. Slow down. Pick it apart if I get 10, 12 bites today. I feel like I'll have a chance to have a good day. Got another one. One pound, 14 ounces. All right, the scales don't lie. Two pounds, five ounces. Three pounds, six ounces. They are predictable right here. They are right there. Those mats right there. I mean, literally. Jacob Wheeler's caught his fifth fish. Three pounds, six ounces. He takes the lead now with 13 pounds, 12 ounces. That's all we need is him to figure it out this quick. There we go. Dudley just caught a one pound, eight ounce. Yeah, I thought he caught one up there. You can't make a bad decision in an hour or two when you start, and we started in a bad area, but I think we're in a good area now. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Wiley X Summit Cup, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. There we go, boys. Three pounds, six ounces. Quality versus quantity. Three pounds, nine ounces. There we go. There you go. He's got it figured out, boys. Jacob Wheeler is starting to get dialed in, which means trouble for the rest of the field. It took just over 30 minutes for the three-time cup winner to seize the momentum and overtake Wesley Strader in a two-man battle at the top of the stack. Keenansville Lake is proving to be a tough test for most of these pros, but it's still early and the tides can turn quickly in Major League Fishing. I mean, we're hanging in there as far as first place goes, but we're not, we're not gaining any ground. But as long as we can hang in there, have a shot. Just each day is so different. When you're punching, you just don't know where your bites are going to come from. If they're going to be in 
grass mats or hydrilla mats or even, you know, hyacin or pennywort. Some of that stuff you just can't get through it. You almost gotta aim at a hole, try to get through that, when you got that grassy stuff growing in it. I got one. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Yes, sir. A little bigger. What are we looking for? Brian Thrift caught a three pound, 12 ounce. Yeah. He's moved into third, bumped you to fourth. We need, we gotta catch a couple of those good ones like that. Now we just need about 30 more of them. I wish I could get one more gnat underneath my hat, just one. It'd make my day complete. If you look this way, it ain't as bad for some reason. I thought that was a keeper. One pound, four ounces. If I, if I were to like wave them around in the middle of these gnats, I might could pick up an ounce or two when they stick to them. This is feeling like a day where if you just catch the right ones, you can stay ahead or stay. All right, come off, God dang it. This had him. That was on a Berkeley bottom hopper. Um, just a little, a light Texas rig. It's a, I think it's a emerald green. Got another one. Brian Thrift caught his fifth fish, weighed two pounds and 12 ounces. He's still in third place. He has 11 pounds, seven ounces. That's Thrift right there. Pretty much most of the field is out here. You gotta out snag them. He just caught nothing. Bang. Brian Thrift's caught his sixth fish. It was three pounds, two ounces. He's moved into second place now with 14 pounds, nine ounces. Wesley, that moves you to third with 13, 13. So a scoreable, I go back ahead of him though, right? Yes, sir. I was hoping maybe there'd be more than one there. If I'm not getting enough bites, I think, to pound and a half my way back into it, but if a couple of those can all of a sudden be three and a half or so, that's how we're gonna have to make up ground. We're gonna keep moving around until either I find something I like or we just don't catch them, boys. One pound, 14 ounces. We're doing the right thing. We just gotta get more bites. Got him at that. Two pounds, two ounces. Brian Thrift's caught his seventh fish, weighed two pounds and two ounces. Moved him into first place with 16 pounds, 11 ounces. Moved you to second. You're nine ounces out of first. Oh, that son of a gun was a good one, too. Gosh dang it. I really have no idea what I'm doing. That's the God's honest truth. Hands down, the worst flipper on the Bass Pro Tour. And that's me. I'm mad about that last one, dude. I'm, I, I jumped, jumped it too quick. Gosh dang it. Come on, man. Just catch a seven pounder and be done with it. Well, I know how you feel, Matt. It's not easy to catch one. You gotta have to punch, I guess. It's way too slow. One pound, nine ounces. Yes. Brian Thrift caught another fish, one pound, nine ounces. He now leads with 18 pounds, four ounces. Of course he did, Brian Thrift. How much time we got left? About two and a half minutes. One pound, zero ounce. Oh, God. Praise. Praise, man, praise. Same thing I've been throwing all day. It told me nothing. Fish will count. Three pounds, 11 ounces. We're taking the one step forward and one and a half steps back because we're not catching the right size. Dang, man. 
I know how fast this game can turn around. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out into period one. Well, it wasn't a bad period, but uh, could have been a little better. That was a good period. I was needing a good period. That sucked. I mean, it's been slow for most everybody, but I've just been slower for me. We got to get it together. Right now, we're just missing some key bias, and if we can get those in the second period, we're going to be right back in the middle of things, I believe. Well, we uh, caught us a few bass, that's for sure. Missed a few, lost a few. Um, we'll get back after them a little bit. I was trying to figure out the zone where they're at. What we're doing, I think, is the right thing for the conditions, you know, being as tough as it is. Um, they're not everywhere, that's for sure. So you just got to sort of go back through some of those areas. I don't know how many are there, but hopefully we can generate a few more bites. What's better is we got a plan now. I'm going to pull out the flipping stick, and I'm going to flip around a little bit more in the second period, change it up. Always good to have a plan. And that plan does not involve any topwater baits. I tell you what we're fixing to do. We're fixing to get all these gnats off of pretty quick. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Builder's First Source, combining to serve you. Yeti, built for the wild. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And by Academy Sports and Outdoors. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard, first period, not where I wanted to be, but the day's still got a lot ahead. You can't just give up. So I'm still searching. Some guys had already caught some fish, and I had slipped on back into like fifth. I, I know I'm, I'm starting to look up the hill already, and I'm like, man, I've got to figure something out. And I didn't know if I needed to keep expanding on the open water and run into them, or if I needed to try something different. It's not out of reach. It's obtainable if you keep your head down, because I know how quick it can happen here. I tried fishing the holes. Nothing was working, so my adjustment during the break was getting out the big stick. One with a two ounce sinker, I wanted to try flipping some heavy, heavy cover to see if I could get anything going that way. Me and Thrift were doing the exact same thing. I didn't know what Wheeler was doing. In the rest of the field, they wasn't really catching them that good, so felt really good, you know, going into the break, being in third place. Well, I put a lot of my flipping sticks back up on the front deck. I know I'm going to be flipping. That's probably what I'm going to commit to, unless I get too far behind, because I don't know if I can keep up with Thrift by flipping if he's really on something very unique. Got my mindset. I'm going to punch mats the rest of the day and just see what happens, see where things lay out. So I get a few rods out of my way. I make a little more room on the front deck of the boat. My mind's right. I'm in a good spot. I'm ready to rock. While our pros regroup and retie for period two, let's check out the score tracker. Brian Thrift made a big move in the last hour of period one. He put six quality bass in the boat, vaulting him up three spots to become our builder's first source angler one leader. Thrift claims to be the worst at flipping on the Bass Pro Tour, yet punching mats looks to be the best decision in his quest for the Summit Cup trophy heading into period two. This is the period that you can make up some ground because historically, it's slower in the second period. Man, we got to catch one biggins. Biggin, boy. Now we're just going to go back and do what we was doing in the same area we was in and see what happens. I feel like I kind of know what to look for now. Kind of, I can almost tell which mats are hollow that I feel like I've got a better chance of getting a bite in. A lot of the fish were in the mats at first. It's been slick, calm, still. Now I feel like a lot of the fish will start to start to get out of those mats, catch them in the open water a little bit better. The wind's starting to blow. We'll just battle, battle back, son. Stay in it and battle back. Three, two, one, go. I kind of lose track. I forget we can start fishing right away. All right, here's where we caught something at this morning. I'm going to try it again. 
See, now you got some current moving out there. See how bubbles going that way? I don't know that I could really find an area out here with this that I could win at. She had like a nine pound bite right now, you know? Get right back in the mix. I'm telling you that wind picking up, they're gonna start biting. It could impact the way those fish were biting this little swim bait. Good one. Good one. Three pounds, four ounces. Nice. Nice, pretty fish. Wesley Strader just caught a three pound, four ounce bass. He's now in second place, 18 pounds, 15 ounces. Meanwhile, Dudley's sucking it up. It's just a one and a half ounce tungsten weight, some 60 pound braid, a five alt straight shank hook, a Lose Custom Pro, eight five to one and an eight foot 806 flipping stick. Big him, big him, big him. Keep your head up, big. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir, boys. Yes, sir. Donkey. That's a nice one right there. Six pounds, two ounces. Ding, ding. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful fish. Let her go. Jacob Wheeler just caught his eighth fish. Six pounds, two ounces. Moves him into first place with 22 pounds, four ounces. Gosh. Six pounder will do that. That's almost a dinosaur right there. We're talking about, that's almost the reason they call it Jurassic Park. If these fish would just come out and roam in this wind, I think I could really catch them. And it doesn't take long when you get around them. Two pounds, two ounces. Two, two. Works for me. Score tracker update, Brian Tripp just caught his 10th fish. Two pounds, two ounce. He's now in the lead with 24 pounds and one ounce. Thrift has found him a pie, a mat that's got him under it because he's sat on that mat the whole time. This hollow hydrilla, some of it's not hollow. And where you find a patch of it that's hollow seems to be where the bites are at. Oh, well, that's a better fish. OK. Three pounds, four ounces. All right, three, four. That helps. OK. I don't even get my bait through the mat, but about one out of every 12 flips. Brian Jacob Wheeler just caught a one pound, zero ounce bass. He has now moved into first place, 24 pounds, eight ounces. You trail him by seven ounces. Well, if I can get this to go through the grass, we might get another bite. Yeah, I really don't have a, a flipping weight heavy enough to do this, but we're gonna try to make it work. Two pounds, four ounces. Two pounds, six ounces. Yes, sir. Jacob Wheeler's caught another fish, two pounds, six ounces. He now leads with 26 pounds, 14 ounces. You notice every time I catch one, they catch one? Or they catch one and I catch one? Ain't that weird? That's the ones we gotta get. Three pounds, three ounces. We just had to change it up a little bit. Look how pretty that fish is. Ryan Thrift caught his 11th fish. Weighed one pound, 11 ounces. He's still in second place. But he has 25 pounds, 12 ounces. You're still in first with 26 pounds and 14 ounces. That's not a whole lot. I need to catch some good ones. I need to catch more one pounders, one or the other. 
Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Wiley X Summit Cup, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. Slight touch. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Good one, boy. Jacob Wheeler is showing why he's a three-time cup winner. After dropping a 6-2 Berkeley Big Bass onto the scales, Wheeler is back on top with a 413 advantage over Brian Thrift. Wheeler is over nine pounds ahead of Wesley Strader, who's in third place. But the anglers know that's only one bite with Florida Giants lurking in Keenansville Lake. For more on this championship battle, here's Marty Stone with today's six hour success in sight. Heavyweight fight has broke out this championship round. And I don't mean old fashioned fisticuffs. Instead, Florida Fishing 101. There's a lot of punching going on at the top of that score tracker. Jacob Wheeler, Brian Thrift, Wesley Strader, they have all put together basically the same pattern. Keenansville Lake is a shallow agriculture lake that was filled, farmlands. And the variance in depth is very little out here. Average depth three to five foot. And this hydrilla is fairly matted up from end to end. And there's not a lot of openings. But what these anglers have figured out is the corner of the hydrilla that's got hyacinths on top of it, there's a canopy underneath that opens up and they're flipping and pitching and punching these big weights through these mats and getting a reactionary bite. It's one of the few places on the lake that's got a canopy where these fish can roam. Now, the key is gonna be execution. You're gonna lose fish under these mats. That's just part of it. And before the day's over with, one of these anglers are gonna fish just a little bit cleaner than the other and possibly have a giant bite, and that will be a difference maker. They're supposed to be one of them great big ones in there. Big one. Giant. Giant. God almighty. That was a seven or eight pounder right there. Two pounds, zero ounces. Yeah, it's still, still better than what we were catching before. Take it with it. I got 32 pounds, 12 ounces. Just caught a two pound, three ounce fish. I'm due for a screw up day. I've had two good days. It's interesting. I've had several bites actually inside the hydrilla. Not high since. Sometimes you just gotta take your time. And once you find a few fish down here in Florida, you just gotta fish it all. We had some mats right here. I figured I'd get a little pit boss out. This is a little three inch pit boss. Flip it around a little bit, and we've had two bites. Maybe we got something we can do. God almighty. How did I miss that sucker? He just dropped it. I think he'll make it. He's gonna be a one pounder. I don't think he is, but he's gonna be close. One pound, seven ounces. He's bigger. I didn't think he was about just a liver pound. That one surprised me. One pound, zero ounces. <gasps> Can you believe that? I'm a one pounder, son. I'm not a big flipper. Like, I don't do this really all that much, but I like catching them like this. I just don't ever, I don't spend a lot of time looking for them. None of them's been like way over in it. They've all been right at the edge of where it meets the hydrilla. One pound, 15 ounces. I'm getting in that cheese. You can see that, that drag mark right there. That's really thin stuff. So whenever you see that on the lake, it's a pretty thin mat. Jacob's caught another fish. He's now at 34 pounds, 11 ounces. We can just get in one more good air. We can make up some ground in a hurry. You're not safe until you get about 30 pounds up. And even then, you can't be safe because they just could start biting and catch a big one. One pound, nine ounces. Oh, 
We have to get a big one. Brian Thrift's caught his 12th fish, weighed one pound, nine ounces. Now it's 27 pounds and five ounces. I'm losing a lot of water right now. I don't have a whole lot left that I can fish that I feel productive about. But I feel like this is the way to catch up in a hurry if I can find the right deal. Probably gonna keep flipping for the most part. Fish landing violation, two minute penalty. Two pounds, seven ounces. Nice little fish right there. That fish came exactly in that high set, Matt. You know, Dudley just came through this other zone, saw him flipping. You know, sometimes you have to really slow down. Jacob Wheeler just added a two pound, seven ounce bass. He has 37 pounds, two ounces. You were in second with 27 pounds, five ounces. Get it together, Brian. What's going on here? Hey, everybody's getting bikes but me. One pound, six ounces. Man, this is fun, I'll tell you. Anthony Gagliardi has just added back-to-back -back bass, a one pound, three ounce bass, and a one pound, six ounce bass. He now has 20 pounds, 12 ounces. We got to find something. This ain't no good. I thought we had something figured out. You're one pound, seven ounces behind Wesley. <laughs> it's taken us an hour just to get close to the third. We're gonna have to step it up if we're gonna try to pass two more spots. Well, we made some ground up on that one at least. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Period two is winding down on Keenansville Lake, where the final eight anglers continue to battle for the Summit Cup trophy. Our leader, Jacob Wheeler, scaled three more bass, increasing his lead to 913 over Brian Thrift. Meanwhile, in fourth place, Anthony Gagliardi has kept pace, scaling 12 bass for the day, but he desperately needs to find better quality if he hopes to keep his dreams of becoming the Summit Cup champion alive. In these mats like this, you really gotta, at least I think, slow down and just pick it apart, just be thorough, because there's a lot of times when there's a lot of fish, one little area, one circle. There's a bass right there on the bed. I don't know how you catch him. Definitely ain't on what I'm throwing at them. It's not like these fish are the ones that I was trying to catch on that swim bait out in that open water where they're gonna come five or six feet, if not more, to bite it. These aren't necessarily gonna do that. You're gonna have to get it really close to them. Stay on there. Oh, those are both fins. It's a bass, a big old bear. Oh, stay on there. Yes, 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 yes. Mm hmm. I was gonna catch a good one. Might have came off. Three pounds, 12 ounces. 312. Gosh, I need a six. He's not real big. Ah, he's pretty good. Look at that. Not real big. Three pounds, nine ounces. Not real big. It's just the biggest one I've caught all day. There's a bass right there, two of them, two big ones. There is a giant right here on the bed. I mean a giant. That last fish put you in third place. Oh, we moved up a spot. It took us a while. We actually moved up a spot, though. You're three pounds from second. Well, that's one more, one more like that, and then we're up another notch. God, I missed him. It's a good one, too. I mean a good one. on there. I didn't get a good hook in her. Get right there where you're at, Bush. Oh, God. Come here. Gosh, you sucker. Three pounds, nine ounces. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Got you, sucker. Two pounds, seven ounces. Yes, sir. 
Happy yo. <laughs> right in the middle of that ice, man. I'm gonna try to put him out here. Hold up. I'm gonna try to put him back in that dang mat. Let him get, because he ain't gonna be able to get down. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Jacob Wheeler still leads. He now has 39 pounds, nine ounces, 12 pounds, four ounces in front of Brian Thrift, who's in second. I don't care what anyone says, Wheeler's the best, dude. I mean, <laughs> he is just so dominant. Jacob Wheeler has added a one pound, 12 ounce bass. He now has 41 pounds, five ounces. You're currently in second place with 27 pounds, five ounces, 14 pounds, zero ounces out of the lead. God. Slowly but surely, you'll get the bites and you just gotta be patient. Patience, man. It's the name of the game. I mean, I'm getting on the bite of top water, just ain't hooking them. Not cool. One pound, 13 ounces. This feels good to put one in the boat, man. The last several bites I've had, I've missed them. Mm, I didn't want to rush in and on it, but didn't have no choice. Two pounds, four ounces. Two, four. Learning a little bit. Anthony Gagliardi just caught a one pound, four ounce bass. He moved into second, 27 pounds, six ounces, one ounce ahead of you in third. A lot of tilapia. I ain't seen a bass yet. All we can do is keep dunking this pit boss and hope we keep getting some bites and a couple big ones. Come on, buddy. I don't know what he is, but he, he's tangled up for sure. Mm, he passed in the grass. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Yes, sir. Whew, another solid one. Got five minutes remaining in period two. Come on, we gotta close this thing out with a big one. See, a lot of times you're way better off just going in there after them than actually messing, you know, than actually uh, trying to pull them out. You just don't know how you got them hooked. One pound, 13 ounces. How's off by an ounce? Two pounds, six ounces. There we go. The scales don't lie. 45 seconds. Come on. I know y'all hiding around here. Come on. At least when it was slick, I had an excuse as to why I wasn't catching them. Caught three bass that period. That's horrible. Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out into period two. That was a horrible period. I mean horrible. Man, that was a good period for us. We needed to we needed to catch some bigger fish, and, and I think we figured out something we can do to give us a shot to do that. We caught a couple of really nice ones. I can't believe I can't get those that's up there spawning to bite, dude. Like, I've seen a bunch come. I've seen three or four that way, several down that bank, but I can't get them to bite. I guess to get more bites in the next period. Well, that period was a heck of a lot better. Gosh dang, we um, we got a lot more fish in the boat. We did still lose a few. Man, we're sitting in a good position. This is the thing. I think I burnt the area that I caught my fish in, so I'm really going to have to hunt and peck and catch a few more fish. The only way I can get bit slipping, so. That's all I'm doing the next period. Took myself on a wild goose chase, I guess, sir. But the easier thing, if I catch all four or five of them, I got like 15 pounds. These guys are constantly searching and looking and trying to find that next new area. Somebody's gonna find it, just whether they have enough time, so. 
We're gonna run back in, get our stuff together, and get ready to go to battle for that last period. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Squincher, hydration that works. Favorite fishing, the future of fishing. Toyota, let's go places. And by Toro, count on it. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. I was really dialed in when we came back in for our lunch break, and I knew I was going to go back out and flip, and so I, actually, I tied up another flipping rig. Wasn't sure where I was going to go. Yeah, I, was, I, I knew that I was probably going to have to move around a little bit. From the middle to the end of the second period, I start losing ground big time. I'm not getting any bites, and Jacob seems like he can just catch them at will. I'm not defeated. I'm not down. I'm not mad. I'm not panicking, because I know with what I'm doing, if I can find the right area, I can catch up in a hurry. I'm feeling pretty good at that point in time. I'm 14 pounds in the lead, but I also understood at that break, I'm sitting there and I'm like, where am I gonna go? You know, where am I really gonna end my tournament at? Put two flipping sticks up there and I put a few moving baits. That's all I need. If I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna win it with a flipping stick in my hand and that is what it's gonna be. While our pros make their adjustments for period three, let's check out the score tracker. Jacob Wheeler continues to increase his lead, giving him a 14 pound advantage over Brian Thrift heading into the final period. Thrift knows he needs to punch the gas or land a Berkeley Big Bass or two if he's going to catch Wheeler and take home the Summit Cup trophy. For more on that, let's send it over to Marty Stone, who's with Brian Thrift for today's Yeti Cooler Talk. I've seen you do a lot of things. This is the most I've ever seen you punch mats before. It, it probably is the most I've ever punched mats. I started out throwing top water, trying to cover water, and I didn't get a bite, and I kind of felt like I would have, not seeing any surface activity at all to show me those fish have pushed up there you know, in the open water where I can catch them on top. So I resorted to punching fairly early, and so far, so good. He had a five pound lead after first period, and it was this guy named Wheeler. Kinda, <laughs> kinda ran off and made it, but anywhere else, I would almost say it's insurmountable. Here, you're 14 pounds back. Yeah. That sounds like a lot, that's two seven pounders. Yeah, that's only two bites on this lake, and theoretically, it could only be one bite. I mean, this is Florida, there's giants here. And I'm gonna stick with this game plan for the third period. I'm gonna punch the whole period because if I get in a good area, it can happen really fast. Like you can just hit one right after another if you find a little place where a group of them have pulled in and set up. 2,500 acre lake, will you try to run some new water or will you rework some of the water you've already ran? Now I'm gonna have to run new water. I, I don't think there's enough population of fish where I've been to be able to chase Wheeler down with what he's probably gonna catch in the third period. So I've gotta find a place good enough to catch him and keep the pace he's gonna put on in the third period. So that's gonna be a tall order, but we're gonna go try. Brian Thrift's having a nice championship round. There's one problem. A kid named Wheeler right here is causing some problems, but if anyone can run him down, it's Thrift. All right, final period, y'all. Got a decent little lead, but man, you cannot slip up on this place. I'm telling you, we've not seen a great big one. There is several great big ones at this place, and I, I would not doubt if somebody catches a double digit. We can do it, we just gotta catch a couple big ones. Gotta figure something out just a little bit different. I probably gotta catch two, like, five-pound fish and still be getting some bites like we've been getting in order to have a shot. Three, two, one, you can go. I need a big in this round. We're gonna catch it. Let's try it again. Try a different prop bait and see what happens here. I just seen this mat in the middle of this patch of hydrilla and I didn't see any boat trails going to it, so I knew nobody had fished it yet. We're gonna punch these hydrilla mats until my guy over here blows the whistle this afternoon. Did 
three pounds, 12 ounces. Nice. Brian Thrift caught a 312, oh, 3 pounds, it. 12 ounces. He's at 33 pounds, 7 ounces. That sucks. That played out exactly how I hoped to play it out. <laughs> um, little isolated patch of hyacinths in this hydrilla. Can't believe I can't catch him. There's another one about six, another one down here about six. Four or five, they're all over four pounds, most of them. Ryan Thrift caught his 15th fish, weighed one pound, 13 ounces. He's in second place, and he now has 35 pounds and four ounces. So you're telling me I need to catch one. To the next one, boys. Mm. Can't put the trolling motor down, so we're just going to bump through it. Getting slick again. They might bite that swim bait, but I just don't think I can catch any good ones on it. God, he bit it. <laughs> I throw a sink on there, he won't touch it. I throw a frog, he bites it. There's so few of it around, though, we need to get more than one bite out of them. Jay Wills ain't just started clobbering them yet. Uh-uh. Only one catching them is thrifty. Four pounds, two ounces. We got a game plan. Thrift has caught another one. Four pounds, two ounces. God. He's now got 39.6. He's four pounds, 10 ounces behind Wheeler. He's out there doing what we's doing, I think. We got to step it up, boys. Dang, man. There we go, boys. <sighs> got to get momentum going. Dudley just got him more. One pound, seven ounces. One seven. <laughs> one pound, eight ounces. They catch a four, I catch a one eight. Anthony Gagliardi has 28.14. Wesley Strader, you have 24 pounds even. All right, I'm giving these about five minutes and I'm done. That's a good one. Thank you, Lord. Two pounds. Five ounces. Making the charge, baby. Hey, momentum. God, did he come off? Oh, God. Yeah. Brian Thrift just caught a one pound, 13 ounce. Two pounds, 13 ounces from Wheeler. He might do it. I had two good bites in here, and I freaking jacked them both up. I'm as lost as a turd in a punch bowl right now. And that's real uncomfortable to be the turd. To the next one, boys. We might get beat, but we gonna fish harder than anybody. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Wiley X Summit Cup. Presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. Four pounds, two ounces. We got a game plan. We got to step it up, boys. There's only one hour and 30 minutes remaining in the championship round on Keenansville Lake. Brian Thrift is hammering the bass in a fierce battle with Jacob Wheeler for the Summit Cup trophy. Thrift put four in the boat, including a four pounder to erase most of Wheeler's lead. And he only needs 214 to move back on top. For the rest of the field, the higher the finish, the higher the paycheck. I'm going to go run some isolated ink ice and mats. Nobody home in that mat. To the next. There's one right there, but I just don't know. Can you catch him? Oh my god, there's another big one right there. Oh my gosh. I am flailing around aimlessly out here in the abyss, guys. Am I the only one seeing them? There's three on there. There's three on there. 
Yo, yo, yo. What I'm talking about. Let's clear that dry spell up. Five pounds, seven ounces. Mm. Get a piece of meat, son. Get a piece of meat. Matt Lee just caught his seventh fish, a five pound, seven ounce fish. Did he really? Moved into fifth place with 17 pounds and 11 ounces. Let's kill our dry spell. Get you some. We'll be here all afternoon. Thrift just caught him another one. On the exact same deal that I've been doing. I think he's a bass in there. Well, he is a bass in there. Four pounds, three ounces. Hey, yeah. Here we go. Now we're catching some good ones. There's a score tracker update for you. Brian Thrift caught his 18th fish, weighed four pounds and three ounces. He's moved into first place with 45 pounds and six ounces. Moved you to second. All right, time to. You're one pound, six ounces out of first. That's exactly what we needed, boys. We got to keep catching them, because there's still a lot of time left. Now we got to run new water. The hyacinth thing's the deal, but everybody's fishing the hyacinths, and so it makes it very difficult to, to run around and hit that. That big old pretty mat, there ought to be more than one under it. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is like, just unbelievable. I would have thought this lake would have been the best one for me. Three pounds, three ounces. Heck yeah. Ryan Thrift caught his 19th fish, weighed three pounds and three ounces. He's in first place with 48 pounds and nine ounces. Let's ride. I knew better. Dang it, dude, I didn't freaking run the deal. It's just funny that they're all, they're all good ones. I can't imagine what else he'd be doing to catch big ones besides flipping. Let's go hit another. First period, good. Next two periods, not good. Come on, big old fish. Two of the big ones been on isolated high since, so I need to hit as much of that as I can. Two pounds, eight ounces. Long enough in between bites, boys. Four tracker update. Jeff Sprague just caught his eighth fish, a two pound, eight ounce fish. He's now at 11 pounds, five ounces. He's a pound, two ounces behind you, Dave. That ain't good. So I'm just throwing Ocho out here. We're trying to hit holes, it's so thick though. And that fish literally had to chase it up out of the grass. I saw him wake it. One pound, 13 ounces. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, shit. All right, I went to a little bit bigger hook, got him a little bit better. Golly, man. Had him for just a second. Stay over there. Mm-hmm. That'll help. Just one of them good bites. Matt Lee's caught another fish. He now has 20 pounds, one ounce. So he caught another three pounder, didn't he? Two six. Not cool. To the next. Always the time factor. Please be more than one of you. Two pounds, eight ounces. Yes, sir. All right. Jacob Wheeler just caught back-to-back -back bass. One pound, 13 ounces. Two pound, eight ounces. He now has 48 pounds, five ounces. He's four ounces behind you. We got to get some old bites, and we got to do it quick. <laughs> That's a good little battle going on. It's going to be a good show. Get your butt in here. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's how we play catch-up. David Dudley's got a three pound, five ounce fish, giving him 
15 pounds, 12 ounces. Daggum Dudley. There's a big difference between fifth and sixth payout. It'd make a better show if the guy in third place all of a sudden made a gigantic run and joined them. Dude, I went down a rabbit hole, and I mean, I went down it, I went down it hard, and I know I did. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Wiley X Summit Cup. Presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. Our leader, Brian Thrift, is pushing through thick matted hydrilla to punch isolated hyacinth mats, as you can see here in today's favorite fishing overview of the day. One pound, seven ounces. Okay. Thank you, little bass. The battle for the Summit Cup Championship is coming down to the wire on Keenansville Lake. Brian Thrift and Jacob Wheeler are neck and neck at the top of the score tracker. Thrift has a 1-11 lead over the three-time cup winner with only 45 minutes remaining in the championship round. Can Thrift hold on to hoist the Summit Cup trophy, or will Wheeler make history and become the only angler to win four cup championships. You know, I'm contemplating going back to a couple of the masks I've gotten bit off of. That's normally a losing deal. You have a one pound, 11 ounce lead over Jacob Wheeler in second with 48 pounds, five ounces. Two more bites is what I feel like I need. Make every cast until the bell, because if you ain't gonna win, you're just fishing for more money now. And we're at the bottom looking up, so we got nowhere to go but up. Is there a fish on there? Oh, gosh, that's a good one. Uh oh Four pounds, three ounces. Okay. That's the biggest mouth on a four-pounder. <laughs> Come. Go. Another little guy. David Dudley caught another fish. Weighed two pounds, 11 ounces. He's now at 18 pounds and seven Dang. ounces. One pound, 10 ounce fish, move you fifth. He's in there. You have a one big one and then they don't have any like, just two pounders around. I might have to roll back, live and die with what we know. I got to have another crawfish. Oh, he got me. Slight touch. Three pounds, zero ounces. Need about eight more of them, probably. Uh, Anthony Gagliardi's in third with 31.14. I have seen the fish to win this tournament and can't get them to bite. It would be a comeback for the ages. How many minutes I got? 25. How far are we back? You're one pound, 11 ounces out of first. There he is again. Finally got one of them suckers off a of bed. Wesley Strader caught a one pound, 13 ounce. You're still six pounds, one ounce ahead of him. I don't want to let Wesley pass me. I feel like if I catch him one or two more, I'm good. I'm fishing hard as I can. I'm sure Wheeler's fishing hard as he can. All right, we're going to hit this little like mat right here, and then we're going to roll back to that little place. Unless we get a buyer right here. Hot this rope. One pound, 15 ounces. Mm. Skinny, skinny bass. Wow, you son of a gun. There is a lot of beds right down through here right now. Whew. Non-scorable. 15 ounces, non-scorable. You have 15 minutes remaining in period three. Well, we got 15 minutes left, and we're down just under two pounds. 
That's all the time I need to catch 28 pounds. Anthony Gagliardi caught another fish, one pound, 13 ounces. He now has 33 pounds, 11 ounces. There he is. One pound, four ounces. Wesley just caught a fish. Did he really? One pound, four ounce. You still got six pound, 10 ounce lead. I mean, it's getting down to the nitty gritty, and we got a, a long ways to go still. All right, we got to go back over there. All these mats. Oh. Had two bites, and I haven't hooked up on them. Three, actually. It was a fun day. We just didn't quite catch enough to keep up with those two in front of me. Going over here to these mats, I started on at the third period, see if we can get one more bite. Oh, one more bite. I just keep thinking Wheeler's gonna pull a rabbit out of his hat here. He usually does, dude. Yep. I wish Wesley had pulled a rabbit out of his hat. I don't think I can win, but I think I can get third. Getting starry-eyed. Come on, give me one more. There he is. Gosh. I had the bites today, we just gotta keep it going. Get one more good one. Two and a half minutes. All you can do is do what you can. That's what we do. Just gotta hit the high scent mats that I got bit at and hope some are punished. That's really all you got. Come on, baby. One more bite. Two pounds, one ounce. Yes, sir. <laughs> no way. You got me freaking kidding me, boy. Ryan Jacob Wheeler just posted a two pound, one ounce bass. He's taking the lead with 50 pounds, six ounces. You trail him by six ounces. Nice. I knew I wasn't going to win. You have one minute. Perfect. At least I have to beat. That's all I know. <laughs> Went back to the exact same stretch. We caught all our fish on. Story of my life right there. Man, that sucks to see the winning fish and can't catch them. Holy smokes. Nothing you can do about it. That's the way my luck goes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lines out, end of round. Oh, well, we did the best we could. I'm not sure, I'll wait for a second, but I hadn't seen Thrifty Real One in yet. This wasn't meant to be. Got close, though, got real close. Had a lot of fun, too. Congratulations, you're the 2022 Summit Cup champion. Yeah, man, yeah! Hey, we fished one cup this season. Hey, we came down here to Florida. We're gonna hoist that trophy, man, bring that back, town, back to Tennessee. What an unbelievable season, man. It's been unbelievable. Um, gosh, man. I, I, I can't even, I'm, I'm just, man, this is, uh, this is just, it's, it's just so surreal, so much fun to do something that I love to do. Congrats to Wheeler if he truly won. That was uh, insane. Mentally, I made a decision I was not gonna throw that big weight in those mats, and, you know, it cost me. I just wish I would've got on it earlier in the uh, day. It is a fun week, but I wish it would have gone, you know, one to one. But coming in fifth or sixth is is uh, it's pretty good. We'll take it. We had a good day. I just didn't. I didn't catch. I didn't catch the big fish. I didn't catch any big ones like I feel like I needed to to really get me in the hunt. It's good times in Florida. It's the last one of the year. Made the top. Made the championship round again. Finished middle of the pack, but uh, it's been a good season. I love this body of water. I love Florida. This time of year, man, you can't beat it. We got another dove, that's awesome. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by General Tire. Delivers, six sour, never settle. Abu Garcia, 
Fish to Win. Powered by Optima Batteries. And by Barbasol Shaving Cream and Razors, a close, comfortable shave for the past 100 years. The championship round of the Wiley X Summit Cup is in the books. 24 of the top pros in professional bass fishing came to Florida's Space Coast to compete for the Wiley X Summit Cup trophy. Eight anglers survived the grueling elimination and sudden death rounds to earn their chance to become a champion. Keenansville Lake set the stage for today's final round. In period one, the W, Wesley Strader had the early lead punching Hyacinth mats. Oh, nice one. Jacob Wheeler and Brian Thrift picked up their flipping sticks and made it a three-man battle at the top of the score tracker. Yes, sir. Go bigger. Thrift held the lead going into period two, but Wheeler rocketed back on top after landing a six-pound, two-ounce Berkeley Big Bass of the day. Ooh, yes, sir. Ding, ding. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful fish. Anthony Gagliardi tried to keep pace and overtook Strader in third, but lacked the same quality bass as Wheeler who had built a commanding lead over Thrift going into period three. That's when Thrift counterpunched, scaling five bass, including a pair of four pounders to retake the lead. We got a game plan. Today's Barbasol close shave goes to Jacob Wheeler. Trailing Thrift by 111 with under two minutes to go, Wheeler landed a 2-1 to move back on top. Two pounds, one ounce. Yes. He would hold on to win the Summit Cup trophy and become the only four-time Major League Fishing Cup champion. Yeah, man, yeah! Let's catch up with our champion to check out his winning baits in Bass Pro Shops and the line. I'm Jacob Wheeler, and this is the bait that I won the 2022 Summit Cup. For me, creature baits are the way to go. Crawls, I had multiple different baits that I was using in Florida this week. But this is one that I really like. Black and blue just tends to work very, very well. And I was using a very heavy weight. This is a two ounce weight with a four aught punching hook. Now, when I would pitch into those places, you made sure you would do it on a semi-slack line, letting that bait fall through the mat. It's a reaction strike. It's really that rate of fall. You're getting that super fast fall because they're just, it's going through there and there's, oh, they're sitting there, just opening their mouth. Boom, they got it. Set the hook, got it. You gotta be patient though. I missed several fish by setting the hook a little bit too fast. So take your time, reel set, pull into those fish, use a snell knot, big hook, big weight, and good luck. It's one of my favorite ways to catch fish all over the country, but Florida has been good to me, and this is definitely one you wanna have on your rod for when you come down this way. Congratulations, you're the 2022 Summit Cup champion. Yeah, man, yeah! Here are the results of this championship round. With 50 pounds and six ounces, Jacob Wheeler has earned the win as the 2022 Summit Cup champion and the only four-time cup winner in Major League Fishing. Let's send it over to Marty Stone, who's with our champion, Jacob Wheeler. In the second period, you got a 14-pound lead. Mm -hmm. A good lead. Yeah. And we're in Florida, but there was one angler making a little bit of noise named Brian Thrift. And this third period, man, he closed the gap and passed you. You know, this is the thing. Florida, you can, it, it's tough because if you can fish too fast, you, you'll fish past them. And then if you fish too slow, you won't catch enough to win. You know, I, I felt like after I got a pretty good idea where I was going to fish on period one, I leaned on that really hard in period two. Did not feel like I could win the tournament in that zone by itself. I hear thrift, ding, ding, ding. Score tracker's going off, and I'm like, man, I got to make an adjustment. You know, and then that last minute, you know, you got you to gotta go for it. Last minute, I'm running around like a madman. I saw you make a hot lap around this thing, and the winning fish, correct me if I'm wrong, come out of the very area where you started the day at. Absolutely, yeah, that was that was the zone that I really milked really hard, and I went through there and missed two good ones, lost a good one, and, you know, in the beginning of the third, and 10 minutes left, I'm running across the lake, I shut down, I look down, I have like nine and a half minutes, I'm like, well, we're gonna hit every high scent match down through here. If we get a bite, hopefully it's enough. We'll see how it goes, and it happened. Jacob Wheeler taking care of business. He's now the only four-time cup champion in Bass Pro Tour history and the 2022 Summit Cup champion. This concludes the Wiley X Summit Cup, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Florida's Space Coast. Until the next MLF event, 
Thanks for watching General Tire's Major League Fishing.